Where do you work? I'm the editor of the Serb I'm the editor, editor of the Serb Image here at the Minneapolis American Indian Center. How long have you worked here? Uh, approximately two years. Of, well, I've been editor for just over a year now. Do you like your job? Yeah, I really like it. How many readers do you have? How many readers? Um, we have a circulation. I mean, we print up 28,000 papers each month. And according to our last survey, um, there's at least three people that read once each copy of the circle. So we probably have about 70,000 readers. How many reporters do you have? Reporters, um, we use what we call freelance writers. Um, we only have a staff of three people. And so we have writers that write stories that they're not, we, we pay them by the story. And um, we have about 10 or 12 that we use regularly. And just a couple that we use mainly. Why is the newspaper, why is the newspaper called The Circle? Um, I'm not sure why, why that the circle's been printing for 16 years now, um, and I think it just has to do with you know what Native American culture in the circle means. You know, the circle includes everything. You know, I think it's I don't know why it was called a circle or who came up with the name, but I think it's the perfect name for us. I mean, what kind of issues do you write about? Um, we cover, we try to cover issues about the Twin Cities, you know, area. Um, those are local issues. Um, we have two sections of the paper. We have the, the main part is a circle. And then we have a native city news section, which covers more local stuff. In the circle, we cover anything that has to do with Native peoples, uh, things about the environment um, and all that. Was your life busy? Is my life busy? Yeah, I work probably seven days a week and most of the time about 10 hours a day and it's, it's a long. Where were you born? I was born in Eagle Butte, South Dakota, I'm, uh, but I'm enrolled at the Rosebud Lakota tribe. What kind of Indian are you? What was your school like? My school? Um, I went to a lot of different schools. Uh, my high school was in um, Fort Defiance, Arizona. I went to Wonder Rock High School. It's, in, uh, it's on the Navajo Reservation. It was a uh, public school, about a thousand kids, but 90% of them were Navajo. Uh, that's where I graduated, and I went to college here in. Minneapolis. What did you do after school? After school, um, I worked, went to college part-time, worked, I lived in Phoenix for a while, and I worked at different jobs. And when I moved here to Minneapolis is when I got interested in photography and started taking classes for that, and then I started working at the circle here. Would you consider that your life was easier or harder? Because of what? Uh, hard? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know what that... Mm. Your life, was your life easier or harder um, when you were younger? Or growing up than now? I, I think in different ways. I mean, it's always, life is always pretty hard, but... Uh, I think when you're a child, it's pretty 
but for me, anyway, it was pretty easy. Um, the hardest part for me was just trying to figure out what it is I wanted to do. And now, now it's that I know what I want to do. The hardest part is doing it, trying to get it done. When did you move to the cities? About 10 years ago, about 1985. How did your life change when you moved to the city? Um, well, before I moved here, I really didn't know what I wanted to do, and I wasn't very connected to any community. And I didn't know too many people from my own tribe or from similar backgrounds. And I think in Minneapolis is one of the few cities where there's a large native population. And, and I learned more about who and what I am when I moved here. I mean, there's so many other people that are just like me here. And I hadn't been exposed to that for since I was born, so. 